Question, how do you unhook a fish? We're going to look at two different scenarios and we're going to also look at making a tool so you can practice at perfecting unhooking a fish without ever having to leave the house or even having to catch a fish. This is how we're going to do it. You're going to have a rummage around in your garage or the roof. If you can't find it, you're going to go to the local DIY store and get some of this. This is pipe insulation, climb effect flex pipe insulation, and it's going to cost you pence. You're going to get a pair of scissors and you're going to cut off a section about that big. Simple as that. This is the bit you need. You're then going to cut two slits on opposite sides of the tube. This is our dummy fish. Okay, there are two scenarios when you catch your fish. You swing your fish into your hand, and I personally, I'm right-handed. So I catch hold of my fish with my left hand, and I use my dominant right hand, which has got, I think, better finger dexterity to manipulate removing the hook. So you've caught your fish, you swing it into your hand, and you're gonna inspect where the hook is. Now in scenario one, we can see the hook. You can set this up. Simply take a hook, I've got a really big one here for the purposes of this demonstration. Practice with a big one to start with, but eventually move to the size that you're actually going to fish with. I've got a big size 4 hook here. Put the hook into your fish's mouth. Okay? That's a really heavy line as well, so you can see what I'm doing. So scenario one, we've caught our fish and we can see the hook sticking out of the fish's lips and we can reach that with our finger and our thumb. This is dead easy. Hold the fish firmly, but don't squeeze the fish. Push the hook in the opposite direction that it's gone into the fish's mouth. Okay? Sounds simple, but I see people trying to pull the hook out through the fish's lips. That won't work. That one is dead easy. Let's look at scenario number two. We're fishing away, the float goes under, you strike, you wind in your fish, everything's wonderful. You bring it in, you catch hold of the fish, and you inspect where the hook is, and you can't see it. It's beyond the fish's lips. This is where we're going to have to bring in a tool to remove the hook. Now we can mock up this scenario by opening our fish's mouth and now hook the, hook the hook into the foam, into the fish's mouth, like this, and put it an inch or two back into the foam, like so. Now what we're going to do is close the fish's mouth and I can no longer, with my finger and thumb, reach that hook. Now what we need is the most important gadget that's available to you in fishing. You walk into a fishing tackle shop and there are tons of gadgets. You click online and click on the accessories section, there are tons of accessories. This is the one that you must not go fishing without. But you mustn't go fishing without one, you must take two, because if you lose one, you're going to need another one. It's simply called a disgorger. And I've got a giant oversized version here to help our demonstration. They are made of either plastic or metal. Metal ones look nice, but when you drop them in the water they sink. So I always use plastic ones, and the ones that you see free on the front of a magazine are perfect for the job. They look like this. Again, this is a large exaggerated version. There's very often a loop at one end, so you can stick it on a string and hang it around your neck so you always know where it is. I always tuck mine behind my ear. Then I can fish freely, it won't catch or anything like that, and it's always there when I need it. The business end of a disgorger is this. You've got this barrel section here, and there's a groove cut in the barrel section of the disgorger. This is where all the good work happens. Let me show you first. What we're going to do you're going to need to feed the line above the hook down the groove of the disgorger, like that. So it's going to run on there. Then this is where the tricky part comes. You need to keep this line tight. So this is where the finger dexterity comes in. This is why I use my right hand for doing the unhooking work. You need to slide the disgorger down the line until it reaches, so into the fish's mouth, until it reaches the bend of the hook. If you push gently, you'll feel where it stops. Then all you need to do is exactly what your finger and thumb were doing when we could see the, the hook in the fish's mouth, is just to push down ever so gently. And what you'll do 
is push the disgorger down onto the bend of the hook, push it down, release it from the fish's mouth and gently extract the hook from the fish's mouth. So let's practice that. Catch the line in that groove at the end of the disgorger and whilst keeping the line tight, push it down into the fish's mouth. I can't see what's happening in there anymore but I can feel what's going on. So down to the end of the hook, pushed and we gently extract it and there's the hook on the end of the disgorger. It's easy but you really must practice it before you go out onto the bank. Get it right at home and then when you get there and this is a real live fantastic fish, it'll be dead easy. Good luck!